Good afternoon and welcome to uh, this 2023 Institute for Quantitative Biomedicine RCSB Protein Data Bank Spring Crash Course. Uh, my name is uh, Stephen Burley. I'm the director of the uh, RCSB Protein Data Bank and the founding director of the Institute for Quantitative Biomedicine. And I'm delighted to welcome you here today for this uh, two hour session on the PDBX uh, MMCIF Data Standard Data Dictionary. I'll begin by just providing a few introductory remarks concerning the Protein Data Bank, and then introduce my colleagues who will take you through the, the course objectives and, and then through the course itself. The Protein Data Bank was established in 1971 as the first open access digital data resource in all of biology. It started with just seven protein structures. Uh, some of the inspiration for establishing the PDB is shown on the right-hand side with the first two uh, protein structures, those of myoglobin and hemoglobin, and two of the first three enzyme structures, that of lysozyme, ribonuclease, and missing here is carboxypeptidase A. We've grown from seven structures, seven crystal structures of proteins, to become the single global archive for 3D structure information for proteins and nucleic acids. And as of last night, we supported open access to more than 204,000 experimentally determined structures coming from X-ray crystallography, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, and increasingly 3D electron microscopy. The PDB is uh, today managed by the Worldwide Protein Data Bank Collaboration, which includes data centers in the United States, Europe, Japan, and China, and then two uh, additional members of the Worldwide Protein Data Bank Partnership, EMDB and BMRB, both specialist resources for 3D and NM, 3D EM and NMR respectively. It's not an exaggeration to say that the Protein Data Bank has been walking the walk uh, with respect to the FAIR principles uh, since its inception in 1971. Recognition of this fact uh, is uh, found in our accreditation by the core trust seal and more recently by the global uh, biodata coalition that declared that the protein data bank was a, a global core biodata resource the rcsb protein data bank is the u.s data center for the worldwide protein data bank we're headquartered here at rutgers university in piscataway new jersey with additional performance sites at university of california san diego at the san, san diego supercomputer center and at the university of california san francisco as a team we convert global data into global knowledge uh, we are working with the uh, outcome of the output of more than 60,000 structural biologists who have deposited data to the Protein Data Bank, four interlocking services take their information and transform it into knowledge through deposition and biocuration, which we do with our worldwide Protein Data Bank colleagues. Management, excuse me, management of the archive uh, at uh, RCSB Protein Data Bank here at uh, Rutgers. The uh, definition of the PDBX MMCIF data standards and integration of the PDB data with uh, approximately 50 trusted external data resources. This information is in turn uh, made available freely to 475 different external scientific data resources. We serve up this information on our data exploration uh, web portal, which supports search analysis and 3D visualization of uh, PDB structures. This is rcsb.org. And we also serve up much of the information that's stored in the Protein Data Bank archive in a training, outreach, and education web portal, pdb101.rcsb.org, that provides web-based in-person and in-person training, outreach, and education uh, to uh, millions of uh, page viewers around the world. It's no exaggeration to say that the protein uh, data bank impacts science ranging from agriculture to zoology. Reflecting that, our work is funded by the NSF, the NIH, and the Department of Energy. Uh, we, uh, we support research in three key areas, those of fundamental biology, biomedicine, and bioenergy, as you can see on this, uh, on this graphic. 
rcsp.org, the homepage of which is shown here on the right, is a one-stop shop for access to public domain 3D biostructure data. In addition to the more than 200,000 experimentally determined 3D structures of the PD, that come from the PDB archive uh, that are uh, uh, delivered on the, the website, we also uh, provide access to more than a million computed structure models coming from the AlphaFold database and model archive. These are the products of artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning. Because the computed structure models use a data standard very similar to that of the PDBX and SIF data standard about which you'll be hearing a great deal today, the model SIF data standard, the related model SIF data standard allows the PDB data to be interoperated with the, the computed structure models coming from AI and machine learning so that we are able to use all of the rcsp.org functionality for searching visualizing and analyzing uh, 3D structures of biological macromolecules across both the experimentally determined structures and the predicted structures, the computed structure models. So I urge you to uh, uh, use our website to get access to this information. Uh, remember when you, uh, when you are uh, working with, when you do want to work with computed structure models, you have to opt in, you have to uh, toggle on the include CSM button here on the top right of the uh, the homepage and uh, similarly on the advanced search page to uh, be able to get access to both the experimental structures and the computed structure models. The advantage of for you in terms of serving up the computed structure models is that it fills in gaps in the proteomes of um, human, the model organisms, uh, many uh, bacterial pathogens, plants, and um, and also uh, select uh, microbial uh, proteomes that are of great interest to the U.S. Department of Energy. If you're interested in learning uh, more about how we um, achieved this um, incorporation of the computed structure models with the experimental structures, please consult our latest nucleic acids research paper, volume 51, pages D488 to, uh, to 508. So having pitched the uh, the web the uh, homepage of the web portal and the advantages of uh, turning on the toggle to include CSMs, I uh, want to now turn the podium over to uh, Dr. Greg Critchlow, a member of the RCSB Protein Data Bank here at uh, Rutgers University, and he's going to take you through the introduction and the course objectives, and then move you through the the um, uh, into the, the first of the more detailed presentations on the PDBX MMCIF format and its utilization. Thank you very much for attending. Thank you for your so support of the, uh, the Protein Data Bank. And I look forward to um, uh, talking to you again at the end of uh, today's two-hour session.